Donald Trump seems very worried that Lindsey Graham is ruining everything. He's ruining the presidential campaign for Donald Trump, ruining the Senate campaign for your opponent and for other Republican candidates. Uh, and he may very well be right about that. Well, you know, there goes loyalty to friends for Donald Trump. But I think the bigger picture, you know, the sun peeking out from the moon on this cosmic day uh, is what President Biden and Vice President Harris just said. I mean, to be clear, as President Biden has said, if the Republicans got in and controlled Congress and put that bill on the resolute desk, Donald Trump would sign it. And what really is amazing about this day and that heartbreaking ad that you just showed, Amanda's story, which has been replicated all across the country, unbelievable, might be heard from even having a baby again, which is what she wants. What is really amazing about this is you don't need a fact checker for that ad, Lawrence. That fact checker is in Donald Trump's video itself. When he says so clearly, I am proudly, those are his words, the person who has the responsibility, who is responsible for overturning Roe v. Wade. So while Donald Trump, this choice is clear, while Donald Trump overturned 50 years of legal rights for women, Joe Biden will restore it. Yeah, and the, the Trump position is that he fully supports what happened to Amanda because the Republican government of Texas has decided that should happen to Amanda in Texas. And Donald Trump is very happy for it not to happen to anyone in California or Massachusetts or New York. Right. That's the Trump position. If you live in a Republican-controlled state, uh, you're going to live under this regime that can do this to people like a man. And what does that mean? One third of women in America live in this regime and the other ones don't. A patchwork of laws, bans on travel that some of these states have put in place, criminalizing doctors that some of them have put in place. Um, this idea that you're going to have no exception for rape or incest like we see uh, out of Texas. That is what he is basically sentencing them to after position after position, as you point out, in line with whatever politics suits his fancy. This is the moment where people are going to have to choose what side they're on. And when he says there's a groundswell of support to overturn Roe, <laughs> look at the voters turning out in the prairies of Kansas, turning out in Ohio by an 11-point margin in that great state where we're going to see Sherrod Brown win that election. Um, or you go over to Wisconsin, where Tammy Baldwin great senator. Look at that. Ten-point margin on the Supreme Court there. You look at what's going on all over the country. The voters are speaking out loud and clear about where they are on this. And he just took responsibility for this chaos. Donald Trump took responsibility. Senator, I want to review a moment that I know none of us can forget, uh, delivered to us on this network by Chris Matthews in 2016. Donald Trump saying that, yes, of course, there has to be some punishment for women who get uh, uh, abortion services. Let's listen to this. Do you believe, no, but, in, pun but yes, do you believe yes. in punishment for abortion? Yes or no, as a principle? Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. <laughs> so, Senator, he supports the five-year prison term in Idaho for anyone involved in an abortion, and he clearly would support, as he said right there, uh, any prison term you might want to impose on a woman anywhere in the country, as long as a state decides to do that. That's the Trump position. Exactly. Or maybe they're judges, right? Mephapristown, judge down there he put on in Texas. There we go. Um, he is basically saying, throw this to the state and we will continue this chaos. And I'm going to support, when he says throw it to the states, that means he is supporting uh, these draconian provisions that many, sadly, these governors who ran to the state house after the Dobbs decision came out and saw who could match and got the most draconian state law possible, he owns it now. He owns it. He already owns the judges. He put those Dobbs judges on the court. But now he is also going to own what these states do. He has made his position clear. And that is when the sun came out from under the moon. And so we can now know when Amanda tells her story, 
This guy has claimed responsibility for it. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.